Believe it or not, it's been over three years since the pandemic began, and many companies are still struggling to get employees to come back to the office. A survey conducted last month by WFH Research found only 59% of workers are in the office full-time, 29% are hybrid, and 12% are fully remote. Now some companies are offering incentives to those who come into the office more regularly. For more on this, let's bring in Emma Goldberg. She covers the future of work for The New York Times. Emma, I am into this topic. Just to start, tell us what are some of the incentives companies are using to try to get people back in the office? Yeah, I mean, it really runs the gamut. I think companies thought for a while that they wouldn't have to try any incentives, that they could just say, come back, and workers would comply. But it's played out a little bit more like a game of chicken, <laughs> where executives have said, can you come back to the office? And workers have kind of looked at them and said, like, are you going to make us? So the incentives range. I mean, we've seen happy hours. We've seen free lunches. Some tech companies have done concerts, like a Lizzo performance. Um, oh, I wow. went to a home buying company in Lower Manhattan that was doing a game night and happy hour in the office. And then Salesforce now is saying um, to every employee who comes in, they'll make a $10 charitable contribution to a cause of their choice. So, you know, that's a kind of a nice spin on the incentive. I was going to ask, is anyone offering money? That's a a little bit like offering money. I, you know, there are companies that I've, that I've heard about that are offering, you know, even bonuses for people who are coming in. So they are going there where they're basically saying, like, we'll hand you a check if you do the commute. All this for something that was standard three years ago. I mean, are these incentives working? I think that that still remains to be seen a little bit because we've seen a real swelling of worker pushback. I mean, the other week at Amazon, there was a walkout of corporate workers, and one of the issues that they were expressing their frustration over was the return to office. So I think you're seeing workers express their frustration with these policies in very vocal ways. And for the past couple of years, they have been really strengthened by the tightness of the labor market. You know, there's been like two job openings for every unemployed person. So I think workers have felt like they have, um, you know, the momentum and the power behind them to say that they're, they won't come in. Yeah, it's a tricky topic. In your piece, an executive at DocuSign said the subject of return to office can be quite polarizing. Why? I think when we talk about return to office, we're really talking about how we live our lives. So for the past three years, people have seen that they can actually kind of undo some of the assumptions that have made their working lives challenging, whether it's working mothers who realize that they can do school pickup in the afternoon and then log on to finish their work after dinner, or employees of color who have found that they don't have to face microaggressions when they don't go into the office. So I think it's necessarily emotional because we're not just talking about commutes and, you know, finding parking. We're talking about people's families and their lives. Lives. Is there a world in which employers are just going to have to accept a new normal that in office business model has changed? I think we're seeing that hybrid work is now our permanent reality. I mean, more than half of workers whose jobs allow them to be remote are now hybrid. Um, so I think, and, and you know, for a while we thought maybe this was a COVID thing, but now air travel is back up to its pre-pandemic levels and out, you know, in dining reservations are up to their pre-pandemic levels. It's just the office that's been kind of stuck in that mushy hybrid zone. So I think companies are coming to accept that the office is not going to look like it did in 2019. And employees who want a hybrid model will just look somewhere else because there are so many companies still offering it. Exactly. Emma Goldberg, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me on.